All right, back with another NBA Infinite video, and today we're going to be using the rank 5 or the 89 overall Kyrie Irving. It actually took me a long time to try to get this player pre-ordering for, I feel like, months now. I know the game hasn't been out for months, but it feels for a long time we've been trying to get this player, and we finally got him. So let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. So rank 5 is usually the minimum. I usually want to have a player so I can test him out. Having him at rank 7 would be the best, but for me to get him to rank 7 would be almost impossible. So his exclusive skate and base actually very unique it gives him a crazy amount of crossovers but he also increases his juke effectiveness at level 2 to 22 percent and if you get it to level 3 it's going to be 30 percent it's base one's 15 which uh, is pretty solid in my opinion but we'll take a look at the uh dribbling ability in a second but you can see he has many of these ability i think the best one that he has is the fake spin move into a, a fadeaway which is incredible now, his Domus clutch time, essentially what it does, if there's six seconds or less, it increases or decreases the shot contest resistance, meaning that he's going to hit more contested shots. Not the best ability because you have to be within six seconds, but still, it's, I mean, it's okay. Uh, honestly, it's okay. Taking a look at his stats, he shines the most at three points, mid-range, layups, dribbling. Those are all going to be over 800. Still has decent speed, basically 800 speed. His steal is actually kind of high, 600. I thought it was going to be a little bit lower than that. He also had decent passing at 740. Everything else is okay at best, but his best suit is his dribbling. So let's talk about his skills. You can see he's got some pretty good badges when it comes to finishing. Long, ultra long layup, Euro step, 360 layup, which in my opinion is actually terrible. I've actually gotten blocked more from that than it helped. Floater's always good to have. And and then Giant Slayer is very nice and Acrobat. Acrobat is like, okay. I mean, if you do Advanced Slayers, which honestly, I'm not really doing that with this player. It's not his best suit. But Giant Slayer, always nice because uh, whenever you go on someone higher than you, you can actually hit some nice shots. But again, that's for layups. Shooting badges, that's where he's going to shine the most. He's got the step back shot, the pump fake and fly, the drifting shot, and the fadeaway. So three very good shooting moves. But then his badges, he's got gold mid-range pull-up. He's got gold clutch shooter, meaning that right here, if you activate your clutch ability, he's going to hit these shots like crazy near the end of the game. And he's also got the mid-range pull-up. He can actually level that to level 5 at R7. He's also got one level of 3-point pull-up. So he's not the best with 3 points. But I found that if you shoot from the right corner, he hits more shots than not. So that's actually good. And we have tough shot finishers. Now, tough shot finishers, gold is crazy. Anytime he does a fadeaway or drifting shot, it gets an increased field goal percentage. Which is crazy because the fading and the drifting shot is really nice. I like doing the fading shot off of a crossover, but still wide open is wide open so you don't really have to worry about that especially since you have mid-range pull-up so it doesn't really stack though in that sense but still having this is actually really solid when it comes to off ball it doesn't have crazy badges it does have catch and shoot but again you're not really doing catch and shoot in my opinion you're really much doing uh, crossovers breaking ankles and shooting right after quick start and breakaway art is actually very useful uh, nothing crazy there when it comes to dribbles he's got crazy dribble i've never seen somebody with nine dribble moves N nimble crossover three is really nice being able to cross over people and getting into a high speed dribble right after is pretty pretty insane so you'll be able to like dribble dribble crossover speed move dribble crossover speed move and his ability lets him dribble like nobody's business whirlwind 2 is good because you can whirlwind and then do the fake hezzy spin step back 2 is good because you can speed moves off of a step back jab step sham god between a bit behind the back crossover pump fake has the age. pump fake and drive between the leg dribble so all those are really good shifty master is really nice because you can in addition to your um your juke you're gonna increase your juke even more and if you can get him to r7 he has crazy quick juking uh glue hand is it's useful you just don't get stolen as often but nothing crazy handy handler uh reduces stamina cost when colliding with defender which is good training expert is actually really nice as well quick juke effective if someone is at least is taller than you and an acceleration master is also good whenever you're doing high speed dribbles so when it comes to dribbling that's where he's going to shine he's also got special delivery which is always nice that's good to have that and he has a layup and pump fake and pump fake and layup so he can shoot and pass it off of that so really good i don't like the fact that to unlock the the level one special delivery you had to have him in r5 which sucks but still i'm happy to have it and on defense nothing really crazy slippery worm is okay and then diving save is better to have it than not but still those are all his badges all right let me show you guys his first unique move his first one is going to be instead of doing the hesitation he has like a behind the back hesitation like that so that's his first unique move his second one is that he can kind of do like a half spin so it's like a hezzy spin so like this and then boom like that you can either continue it or if you want to you can hit the shoot button and he's going to do this fade uh the fade one is actually really good the spin move can actually break people ankle as well so that's why it's a very good move and you can also cancel with the animation let me try to show it to you guys fade and then boom yeah you can step back but you can also fade away i step back there but yeah you can fade away you can do all the moves here let me just hit the yeah there we go boom 
little fade away. So you have like three layers to it. So you kind of have to read the opponent. So it's kind of a harder skill to use because then you can use it. And then if someone's coming after you, boom, step back. Now there is like a shorter way in quotation mark. This is a way that centers would do it or power forwards or taller players. So you can actually just do the post fade. If you hit the post button and then drag the shot button back, it does this post fade. Uh, it's actually pretty good to use if you're a center. I don't think it's as great for Kyrie. And you can actually do it really fast. So if you go crossover and then hit the post and then boom, it's almost like one motion. So it's decent to use if you see someone like playing hard, like you can actually like, you know, speed acceleration, right? And then boom, and then back. They run all the way back, hit that. But the other way to do it, the one that you have with the crossover is better because you can juke them from that. So as soon as you break their ankles, you can just hit the fadeaway shot. And there's the other dribbles, but those are really the two main dribbles that I found. His fadeaway shot is probably one of the best shots to use. So if you drive it to left or right, it does a drifting. And if you want to do a fadeaway, you just pull it back. And then it's pretty good. And then same thing with that spin move. You can actually do the drifting shot as well. Right? Bang. Drifting shot. Either or it works, but you can cancel the animation. But I found that as soon as you break someone's ankle with that, you just hit the boom. Wide open shot. You're, you're golden. Anyway, we're going to go play some gameplay. We'll probably do like a quick one-on-one -on -one to show you guys some of the moves. And then we'll do some three-on-three. -three. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, so let's try out our uh, player here. Show you guys some of the moves in the one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh. Thought I'm leaning. Step back. Ooh, hit him with the three. Obviously, if you're going to break their ankle in their first shot, you have no choice. Well, of course that's going to happen with Embiid. But let's see if we can keep, keep him leaning again. Whoop. There we go. Just got to shoot it when you can. Break his ankle. Trying to get it. I was trying to get it three there. Let's see if he just comes up here. and Yeah, he missed it. There we go. All right, let's try to hit the move there. We're going we're gonna to come here. We're going to go like this. Okay, well, got him leaning. Hit the drifting shot or the fade away. Listen, if he's gonna, if I'm gonna break his ankle, I'm gonna shoot it as much as I want to use those moves. We just gotta hold the defense button when when he's close. Oh, oh, yeah, moderate contested. Ah, oh, it went in. It went in. It went in. That's unfortunate. All right, let's let's try not to lean him yet. We're gonna do the move here. Okay, yeah, let's try it. There we go. Boom. Oh, I missed. Oh, that should have been so good. All right, he missed a he, he missed a wide open layup. It's crazy. All right, let's let's see if we can do the move again. Oh yeah, step back. Got him. Got him leaning. I gotta end it with that that spin. I gotta end it with the spin. There's no, there's no dunk monster here. I got the board there. All right, let's see if we can get him there. There you go. Easy game. Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and try to win this game here. Give the ball. Julius Randle, give an easy dunk. Give me my assist. Gosh, dang, dude. There you go. Ooh, I'm wide open. There you go. All right, thank you. I'm wide open. here oh my god what am i supposed to do the screen here mid-range open thank you good pass good pass thank you i'll take that wide open shot broke his ankle Drew's round gets that. Nice. Easy. Broke his ankle. Give me the easy floater. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you very much. Boop. Oh, highlight. Floater. Oh, yeah. Got him leaning, chat. Got him leaning. All right. Oh, he cooked me. Oh, good D, good D, good D. 
You hit the board there? Good. Yeah, yeah. Wow, lightly contested. Oh, but that's too easy. Oh my god! Oh, that's too easy. Oh, we cooking. Nah. Nah. That's... Wow! Wow! We really out here. We got that vision. Oh, that was a little late, though. Yeah, cooked him. He's too easy. It's actually too easy. Oh my god. We also got clutch time activated. Oh my god. All right, Kawhi hit that. Let's see if we can start a screen here. Oh, yeah, I'm wide open. Oh, good board, good board. Okay, we hit him with that step back. Now we gotta guard him. No three. That's a two. Oh, good board. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me the last shot. Ah, I thought we could hit the last one. Oh, we got the leaning all game. Holy. Kyrie. 15 points, one assist, a three-pointer.